Higgins Theatre opened on April 24, 1936. Built by multiple-time mayor of Vancouver and two-time county commissioner John P. Higgins, and designed by architect Day Walter Hilborn, the theater provided much-needed entertainment as a respite from the woes of the Great Depression. Declared at the time of its opening as one of the most modern and luxurious theaters in the Pacific Northwest, the theater is considered to be one of Hilborn's finest works from the 1930s and bolstered his reputation for theater design. Hilborn's vision for the Kiggins combined the graceful curvature of Art Deco, the simplicity of smooth surfaces, and the strength and safety of concrete construction. The original marquee was quite different from the one we know today, and historians have noted a marvel at the time was how the original marquee appeared to hang from the facade showing no visible means of support to the average viewer. Post-World War II, the theater struggled and eventually closed its doors in 1955. It reopened in 1958 under new management. The new distinctive marquee was installed to provide a better view for cars passing by on the street. However, the Kiggins continued to struggle and by the early 1980s, the theater was used by a local church to hold events and show films. Now owned and operated by Dan Wyatt, the theater provides a venue for a variety of independent films, classics, and live shows, including community favorites like History on Tap, Science on Tap, Comedy on Tap, and reimagined radio. So Kagan's Theater is the 1936 historic single screen movie theater on Main Street. And we show first run independence and art house titles along with live events that have a local community appeal. Uh, I got into the business by way of another business. I had a uh, soda shop, all ages entertainment venue on uh, Upper Main Street in Uptown Village and kind of got to be known as the Main Street entertainment guy. And then when the Kiggins opportunity came around with the former building owner, Bill Lee, uh, had the opportunity to transition downtown and start uh, showing movies and doing uh, what I went to school for at film school and my first love, uh, showing movies to the community, but it sort of blossomed and transitioned and uh, added live events. I stayed involved with the community by, one, I live downtown, I work downtown, I'm in the thick of it, being right on Main Street, and um, I think, I, I guess the, the biggest community involvement I have is doing live events and local events that, that have a, a community appeal. Um, we host uh, Science on Tap and History on Tap, uh, working with Brad and the Clark County Historical Museum. And, um, you know, we just make sure that we're very accessible, uh, even how we pick our content for our movies and what, uh, what folks are looking for here. Well, Kagan's is a historical building, so it's, it's right there embedded in the history already, just with its um, unique architecture from that era. And, um, I guess it's just a matter of staying relevant and uh, looking to make sure that we're programming and bringing in content that people want to see so people can still come and uh, access the building, come in and you know, partake of what we have to offer and enjoy the space. Operating a business in a historic building uh, is not without its challenges. Uh, I, a lot of times I always joke about playing this old theater uh, there's always building maintenance and, and things to catch up on. Uh, being an old building, it always needs a little TLC. And it bring, brings unique programming challenges too. Uh, for instance, in 1936, the movies were well embedded as the primary form of entertainment. So there wasn't really a, a live component that was thought of in the design, meaning there's no backstage and no green room and amenities that you think of having with live events. So we're always up against some challenges on when we, we offer those and the community does like them. Um, how do we work around being able to offer those and um, make things comfortable for our artists or our guests and our people that are helping provide content that is a lot of time on stage. So it's, uh, it's interesting, but it, it keeps things fun and uh, no week is like the, like the next. So during this time of uh, uh, shutdown, um, a couple times a week on Fridays, five to seven, Saturdays, 11 to one at this point, uh, we become a to-go popcorn restaurant. So 
If you want to come in and, and gear up for your movie weekend and get a jumbo bag of popcorn, the, the hunker down size as we call it, um, we have that available. And we transitioned to being a little bit of a, a streaming service. Uh, a lot of our content that we would normally play on the screen here, we offer uh, in partnership with our distributors and the studios that you can buy a uh, ticket, so to speak, at home and enjoy the kind of content that we have been offering the last several years uh, at the comfort of your own home. So, and that helps the Kagans too. We get a percentage of those um, rental fees. So between that and buying gift certificates online and the uh, snack bar being open a couple times a week, um, we're doing okay. We appreciate your business. Uh, we miss our community. We'd love to see you back. Our, our number one joy is providing entertainment that you can enjoy together. So we look forward to the day of being able to reopen and everybody can sit elbow to elbow, we hope, and uh, enjoy cinema together. Thank you for joining us for this History at a Distance Small Business Edition. We at Clark County Historical Museum believe that small businesses, like the Kickens Theater, are vital to our community and the stories we leave behind. Please take the time to support local during these trying times and be sure to follow us on Facebook to learn more about how you can help. Know a business that is in a historic building or has a story to tell? Contact us at outreach at cchmuseum.org and they may be featured here. And as always, remember that history happens every day in the large and small decisions we make. Help us gather, share, and save those stories for future generations by sending us your stories or becoming a CCHM member today.